destroyed to the ground. Russian invaders destroyed the central hospital of the Izum city in the Kharkiv region. Volodymyr Matsokin, the deputy mayor of the city, reports, I thought the gates of hell had closed, but it turned out to be just the first floor. This is the emergency room of our central city hospital, probably another secret NATO base. The patients were getting out from under the rubble as best they could. There are no military units in the city. However, the Russian invaders have turned it into nothing. They occupied it, preventing the delivery of humanitarian supplies and the evacuation of the residents. The invaders have destroyed Izum's railway and bus stations, port, medical college, police station, children's sports school, and they are shelling civilians. About 3,000 civilians were evacuated from one of the hottest spots in Ukraine, the city of Irpin. It is a neighborhood of the capital. People were rescued from the invaders under explosions and shelling because the silence period is not respected by the aggressor. Fortunately, there were no reports of injuries or deaths today. Rescuers report that they are evacuating people who approach the destroyed bridge on their own. Humanitarian aid is also being evacuated and unloaded in Sume. The city has been shelled by the invaders since the start of the invasion. Two convoys of transport with people left Sumy today in the direction of Poltava. There was shooting during the evacuation in the afternoon. It was not a battle, not a firefight. It was Russian Federation vehicles accompanied by a tank and there were people sitting on the armor. They brought in their artillery, a small number, and when they saw our roadblock of armed men, they opened chaotic fire on the field, on the landing, on the trees, upwards. Luckily, there are no casualties. Now the situation at the exit is calm. It is also reported that it is possible to leave the city by private transport, however, only until 1930. David Beckham's family supported Ukraine. Today, the famous English football player and his wife, Victoria, released a video on their Instagram in which they urged not to stop and help Ukrainian children and their mothers. David Beckham says he watches with horror the events in Ukraine as mothers with children in their arms are forced to escape the shelling. That's why, this International Women's Day, I'm setting up an emergency appeal through my Seven Fund for UNICEF to help provide immediate aid. Victoria and I have made a donation on behalf of our family to kickstart the appeal. We would be so grateful if you would join us to help UNICEF support these innocent children. Please give what you can today. In addition to this video, Victoria Beckham published another post of support for Ukrainians. Please. Please donate if you can. Europe is on the brim of a new nuclear catastrophe. This is a Nerhodar city in Ukraine. The largest in Europe nuclear power plant is located here. Unarmed residents of the city came out to prevent the Russian occupiers from seizing the nuclear power plant. They understand that any damage to the plant will cause an environmental catastrophe. The next Chernobyl or Fukushima. It is no longer a Ukrainian issue. It is a possible threat for the whole of Europe and even the world. For the first time in war history, the Russian army has deliberately attacked a nuclear power plant. It is definitely an act of state terrorism. Even if the concrete walls of the plant will deter the impact, its transformers and turbines are defenseless against mortars and tanks. If they are damaged, there will be a leak of a radiation cloud, and only the wind knows where this cloud goes. Ukrainians defend their land courageously, but their strength is limited. The Russian army acts like terrorists, shelling hospitals, maternity wards, kindergartens, in civil neighborhoods. Putin's army will stop at nothing, even if it means a nuclear disaster. We live in a global world. There are no walls of sanctions or money that will protect you from this disaster. The larger ecosystem of the region covers not only the Black Sea and multiple rivers that run through Ukraine, but also dozens of European countries that are less than a thousand kilometers away. The outcomes of the possible tragedy will be catastrophic. 
They will last for decades and cost trillions of euros to overcome, while every Ukrainian is defending Europe with their bare hands from Putin's evil intentions. What does the world do? Europe and Ukraine's allies must act as decisively as the Ukrainian people. Protecting and closing the Ukrainian sky is the number one task to avoid this catastrophe, because radiation has no nationality and stops at no borders.